guys, I hope you're good. I am in my new filming setup in my new house. The audio sounds really tinny in here, so I'm gonna keep working on that. Please bear with me. Still working on the background situation, but because life is kind of hectic this month, uh, sometimes you just need to say, you know what, I'm gonna have a low-key reading month this month, and that's fine. So I'm planning to read four books this month. I'm really excited about all of them, though. Starting off with nonfiction, I'm planning to read Shoe Dog, a memoir by the creator of Nike by Phil Knight. Phil Knight is an unfamiliar name to me. Unlike a lot of memoirs, this memoir is not equally balanced throughout all of Knight's life. It's not kind of a sequential let's go through Philip Knight's whole life sort of book. It looks like this is a deeper dive into the beginning years of Nike, kind of the first 10 years and what it took to get the company off the ground, which sounds like it was a phenomenal amount of effort. So Phil Knight, for the first five years when he was founding Nike, and it was originally not called Nike, it was originally called Blue Ribbon Sports Company, and he was working full time at a day job as an accountant, mostly at Price Waterhouse, because running Blue Ribbon Sports wasn't making enough income or really any income for him to support his new family. So he was pretty much using nights, weekends, all the gaps in between to get this company off the ground. And the first year that it ran, there was an $8,000 income. And the second year, there was $20,000 of income. That was with one full time employee who was paid, and that person was not Phil Knight, so he, Phil Knight still wasn't making any money off the company. And then 40 years later, in 2015, Nike had a 3.3 billion net income. So I find that very inspirational, seeing what people had to go through to get to that level of success, and doing that even without any guarantee that there would be success at all. I find that mindset really interesting. Continuing with nonfiction, the next book I'm planning to read is Sapiens, A Brief History of Humankind by Yuval Harari. So this book is written for the layperson, and it aims to provide a concise, readable, historical summary of the progress of human evolution, all under 500 pages. So it concentrates its efforts on the agricultural revolution and then kind of moves forward in time from there. And this book has pretty mixed reviews on Goodreads. It has a pretty high average, but loved it or hated it, pretty much everyone agrees that this book is highly ambitious. I'm expecting a lot to be covered in here, and the way I anticipate this book going is that it's going to be more of an overview with interesting food for thought rather than an extensive deep dive in any one particular area. And I did want to mention that while I personally am making use of a lot of audiobooks and ebooks lately. I do believe that this, the printed version of this book is intended to be laid out a bit more like a coffee table book. It's printed on heavier, glossier paper. So if you're interested, I do believe the printed version has more of an artistry to it. Moving into classic literature, I'm really excited to read a short story by John Cheever called The Swimmer. I first read this book or was first exposed to it um, about 12 years ago, and this story really stayed with me. It kind of haunted me. The Swimmer takes place in suburban America and the story starts off on this really beautiful warm summer afternoon and there's friends beside a swimming pool having drinks just enjoying each other's company and it takes kind of a funny turn the main character decides that he's going to go home via swimming pool he's going to do pool hopping and he's going to swim through every pool in the county on his way home and then as the story goes on, things get weirder and darker. It starts to become really unclear how much time has passed. Instead of happening in the span of one afternoon, it seems like many months have gone by. And the main themes explored in this story include um, the slowly destructive nature of alcoholism and the relationship between money and happiness. So last but not least, I'm planning to read the classic novella, The Metamorphosis by Franz Kafka. Franz Kafka was a Jewish author from Prague, and The Metamorphosis is a story about the absurdity of life. So it starts off with the very famous sentence, one morning when Gregor Samsa awoke from troubled dreams, he found himself transformed in his bed into a gigantic insect. So as you might guess from the first sentence, The Metamorphosis is a story about a traveling salesman who is transformed into a gigantic insect. Um, I think this story has kind of a nihilistic bent towards it. So those are the books that I'm really looking forward to getting to this month. Let me know down below what your plans are for reading, what your plans are for the summer, reading or otherwise. As always, thanks so much for watching. Uh, my upload schedule is a little wonky right now, but I normally upload Fridays and Sundays, and I'll see you in the next one.